part of the ANSI ISO C standard. So it is the standard library for the C programming language. As C++ includes the full definition of C, the standard C library is also fully included in the C++ standard. The standard C library includes a great number of functions and macros supporting a broad scope of functionalities. Facilities for creating, reading, and writing files, support for C strings, null terminated arrays of characters, support for allocating and deallocating memory, support for time and date structures, standardized handling of system level errors, and other utilities including math, localization, signals, process control. There are two parts to the standard C library, the header files and the runtime support. There are two distinct versions of header files for the standard C library, for C and for C++. For the C language, you would include using the form filename.h, and for C++, you would include using the form C and the file name without the .h. In C++, the symbols from the standard C library are in the STD namespace. C does not support namespaces. Runtime support for the standard C library is provided by a compiled runtime library that is linked with your program as part of the build process. The runtime support library is traditionally called libc. And for the GCC compiler system, the runtime support library is called glibc. A version compatible with your system is typically installed with the rest of the GCC system or whatever compiler you're using. The standard C library is very large, much more than could be covered in this course. For our purposes, we'll be covering those functions that are most commonly used for general purpose programming. There are many good references available that cover most or all of the library. The standard C library by PJ Plogger is considered the definitive resource for the library. You'll find links to this and other resources on my website at cpp.bw.org. The standard C library is the standard library for the C programming language. As C++ includes the full definition of C, the standard C library is also fully included in the C++ standard. Even though C++ has libraries of its own, they do not duplicate the functionality of the standard C library. So C++ uses